Hey y'all, welcome to the channel. Today we're checking out Top 10 British Conspiracy Theories. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the Top 10 British Conspiracy Theories. Great. For this list, we're ranking the strangest, most significant, and most popular conspiracy theories, which are predominantly based on people, places, events, and things in the UK. Excellent. Press claim that you claim to be the son of God. Mm-hmm. Is that true? Yes, you see, the thing is that uh, see, it's, quite, it's quite funny, really. Number 10, Louis Tomlinson's fake baby. As part of one of the world's biggest boy bands, Louis Tomlinson is used to intense public scrutiny. However, when he became a dad in 2016, the hysteria hit another level. Hashtag Babygate erupted on social media, and followers tried to prove that Louis's son wasn't real. Why would he fake having a baby? and followers tried to prove that Louis's son wasn't real, with the validity of various photos examined and offered as evidence. The reason for the fake? Theories range from it giving Tomlinson an easy out from the group, to it being an elaborate cover-up of his relationship with Harry Styles. Number 9. The Disappearance oh, of Richie Edwards Oh, scandalous. So they're saying either was using it as, a, as an excuse to leave the group or was to cover up his homosexual loving relationship with this young man. Scandal. Number nine, the disappearance of Richie Edwards. Um, I don't think any band is, is established. Most bands got a career of maybe three or four years, then they fade into oblivion. As lyricist and guitarist for Manic Street Preachers and a frank and open speaker on depression and self-harm, Richie Edwards was already a cult icon when he disappeared in 1995. Investigators surmised that he'd committed suicide by jumping from the Severn Bridge, but his official status wasn't changed from missing person to presumed dead until 2008. And there have been plenty of supposed sightings. From India to the Canary Islands, some fans still believe that Richie faked his death to escape his fame. I've never heard of Richie Edwards or his band. Manic Street Preachers? Great band name. Oh, they're Welsh. Number 8. Chaucer was assassinated. Anyone who's wrestled with the Canterbury Tales at school might feel a smidge aggrieved with Chaucer, but some suggest the pioneering poet was actually the victim of a murder plot, and by the Archbishop of Canterbury, no less. <laughs> <laughs> the idea mostly oh. comes from a book by Terry Jones, who's better known for Monty Python. True, Jones puts a comical spin on the concept, but there is very little known about Chaucer's death. His name just stops appearing in records. Ominous, mysterious, or fabricated, you decide. We hmm. walk in the garden of his turbulence! Number 7. The Bisley Boy. To Tudor times and the Virgin Queen. Or should that be King? It all starts with Bram Stoker, who included the Bisley Boy legend in his book, Famous Impostors. So the story goes, Princess Elizabeth visited Bisley in the 1540s to escape the plague in London. But she died anyway. Her governess replaced Liz with a lad in a bid to escape the famous wrath of her father, Henry VIII. I am no man's Elizabeth. It worked, and the arrangement stuck. Remember, she was famous for her wig collection and there was no post-mortem when she died. Well, that is juicy. So Queen, they're saying Queen Elizabeth died when she was off in Bisbee, and they replaced her with a town boy. That's a fun one. Number five, the kingdom of the lizard people. <laughs> to a global conspiracy <laughs> born in England, and perhaps one of the world's wildest theories. David Icke was a BBC sports pundit before his career took a dramatic change of direction in the early 90s. Having appeared on Wogan and suggesting he was a descendant of God, Ike set about uncovering the truth of our existence, concluding that we are controlled by a race of shape-shifting Illuminati reptilians. From the royal family to world leaders, bankers, broadcasters and celebrities, there's a select few pulling all the strings. I have heard of that conspiracy theory before. I didn't know that David Icke came up with it. But I also know that David Icke claimed to be the second coming of Jesus. Number four, Titanic never sank. Oh. More than 1,500 people perished on Titanic in 1912, but some say it never sank at all. Or at least that particular ship didn't. 
Publishing in 1998, shortly after James Cameron's blockbuster, Robin Gardner proposes that the doomed vessel was really its sister ship, Olympic, which was subject to a massive insurance claim. As the ships were almost identical, the swap would have been easy. While another theory says that JP Morgan arranged the disaster to eliminate his rivals who were traveling on board, controversy continues <laughs> to surround the story. Are you sure the ship will sink? I can assure you the ship will sink as it has a thousand times before. <laughs> it is un unsinkable. <laughs> Number three, Shakespeare didn't write his plays. Well, I've heard that before. Speaking, back before curtain up. And remember, kid, project eyes and teeth. Never know. Queen my turn. He's one of history's best-known Britons, but could Shakespeare be a sham? Some say he couldn't possibly have penned his plays, with the likes of Mark Twain and Sigmund Freud suggesting that other writers probably responsible. Citing Shakespeare's modest background, discrepancies between his signatures and similarities with other poets, the naysayers believe that the bard was but a front. Christopher Marlowe or Francis Bacon are the most popular alternatives. To believe or not to believe, that is the question. Hmm. Oh, and just uh, one more thing. Yeah. <laughs> that is for every schoolboy and schoolgirl for the next 400 years. Yeah, I've definitely heard that Shakespeare conspiracy before, but we'll never know the truth. That is for every schoolboy and schoolgirl for the next 400 years. Hell yeah. Number two, Hall is dead. So this before. started some rumor that because he was barefooted, he's dead. A hotbed for conspiracy theorists, some say the Fab Four never existed at all, that they were just a conveyor belt of trendy actors. But the best Beatles oh, theory weird. centers on Paul, who supposedly died in a car crash in 1966. Paul was then replaced with the winner of a lookalike contest to avoid the agony of fans. Subscribers to the legend say clues are hidden in lyrics and on album covers, or they're heard when certain Beatles tracks are played backwards. Perhaps it's time to let it be. Take a look. Put off for your mind. Take a load of time. <laughs> Number one. He actually kind of sounded like Paul singing. I've definitely heard the Paul is dead conspiracy before, and it's really creepy. As a matter of fact, there's all these clues on album covers and in song lyrics. It's actually very creepy, but totally untrue. Because. How could you find someone who not only looks like Paul McCartney, but also has his voice? Like, you could give someone plastic surgery to make them look more similar to another person, but you can't do vocal surgery. If you could, I want Paul McCartney's voice. I want John Lennon's voice. I want George Harrison's voice. I don't think I want Ringo's voice, but I would take it. Number one. The death of Princess Diana. Diana, Princess of Wales, has in fact been killed in that car accident in Paris. Diana's death shocked the world in August I remember when that happened. Seven. The cries of conspiracy were almost immediate. Accusations of murder were aimed at MI6 and parts of the royal family, with questions raised over a lack of CCTV, an unusually slow journey to the hospital, and a white hatchback seemingly involved in the crash but never seen again. The owner of the car committed suicide three years later. The motive? Diana's supposed engagement to the Egyptian producer Dodie Fired, according to Dodie's father, at least. They cleared the decks, they finished her, they murder her, and now he is happy. He married his crocodile wife. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these wow. other great clips from Watch Mojo UK and... I remember when Princess Diana died. That was crazy. In fact, my mom called me. I know the press was following Princess Diana around all the time, and she could have gotten tired of that and wanted to fake her own death. I wonder if anyone has ever gotten away with faking their own death. What would that life be like, where you have to constantly be in hiding... Well, juicy video. Thank y'all for recommending. Thank y'all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Later.